Um, obviously proud of the win. Um, we, we didn't play particularly well, especially the first half. I thought we were really sloppy, had 10 turnovers, thought they were more physical than we were early. Uh, I thought they punked us on the backboard the first 10 minutes of the first half. Um, and uh, we struggled to kind of find our way there for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I thought we started to fight back at the end of the first half, obviously closed it um, fairly strong and had it in position where it was a one-possession game. And then the second half, I thought we obviously took much better care of the ball. We had three. Um, we should have had two. I foolishly told our guys not to shoot with a 10-point lead, let the shot clock run out, and added a turnover to our stat sheet. So that one's on me. Um, we should have at least thrown it to the rim because I hate turnovers. But uh, we were much better uh, in the second half offensively and defensively. We picked it up. Um, I told the guys that, you know, good teams have different guys step up on different nights. And obviously, Castaneda was spectacular at both ends of the floor tonight. Phenomenal performance. And then I thought Dawson and Trimble. Dawson now in back-to-back -back games gave us such a big boost with, the, uh, you know, timely shot making, hustle, physicality plays, um, putting his body in plays. You know, the way he plays the game, he just – you know, I think he inspires his teammates and the people that are around him to give more, which is a phenomenal quality that Mike Dawson has. And then my hat's off to Brian Trimble, who had been out for an eternity, it seemed like, um, has had three or four practices and played the way he did today um, after being out as long as he has been. Uh, was really was really neat to see Brian step up like that offensively. Um you obviously, you can figure out by looking at the stat sheet, a couple of our guys didn't quite have it. Um, a couple of them were coming off protocol. Um, so I appreciate them having the courage to step out on the floor with limited practice time, if any at all, uh, in some cases, and, um, and play for their team and their teammates. So, you know, we're, we're, I'll be honest, we're not where we were when we played Wright State. I think that's the best game we've played. I thought we were really clicking and heading in the right direction, but... You know, we've now had a month where we've been dealing with pauses and lineup changes and, you know, who's going to be at practice today, who's not going to be at practice today. And Lord willing, tomorrow for the first time since December the 14th, we'll have our entire team at practice, which is a real blessing. And then we'll get a chance to look at this film and uh, learn a lot from a win, uh, which is also a blessing. Questions? What do you attribute the sloppiness to? I mean, was it, was it a case of them getting used? Let's face it, Brian is a key in that card that you have there. Was it a case of them getting used to playing with him again? Did that, that figure in it at all? I think it was three things, George. I just said this on the radio, and I really mean this. I think all three things were a part of it. One, give Ball State credit. They came to play. They were really good the first 10 to 15 minutes and continued to fight throughout. Two, um... You know, we've not dodged it. I mean, I'm not, as you said last time, you were surprised with my disposition. I've tried to not go ham on some guys with execution and some things I think that they can do better and know they can do better. When every once in a while I catch myself, oh, by the way, the guy you're wanting to do X, Y, and Z, he's practiced like three times in the last 20 days. <laughs> you know, so I've tried to give myself a little bit of perspective and give guys the benefit of the doubt as 18 to 22 year olds trying to put myself in their shoes and what they're going through because I know they want to play and they want to get back out there and then the last third's the part we can control you know where we've been a little bit sloppy with timing turnovers um, execution we haven't been as sharp as we needed to be you know obviously if, if you know we don't sharpen up between now and Friday night we're going to get it handed to us you know I'm fully aware of that you know, we've got to be a lot sharper. Biggest thing we got to do in the next couple of days is try to find that balance of working them as we continue to try to get back you know, some chemistry, some timing, some rhythm, some cardio, you know, without burying them because this is a quick turn. It's a two-day flip into the game at 8 o'clock on Friday night and in a very emotional, physical, tough, challenging environment that we all look forward to. So we've got to find that balance here over the next couple days and try to get ready for Friday night's rivalry game. 
Can you hate the sloppiness and admire the resilience? Yeah, no question about it. And, I, and our, our execution in the second half I thought was really good, especially offensively, especially considered, you know, tonight we got in foul trouble. Obviously, both teams were in foul trouble. It was a tough game. I'm not picking on the officiating. It just happened to be one of those games where there was a lot of whistles blown both ways. And so now that disrupts timing as well, I think, for both teams. And it put us in a situation, George, where guys were playing out of position tonight. Like Ali Ali played the five tonight for the first time uh, in a game uh, tonight through the 13 games we played. Um, we got a couple guys foul out, you know, our two bigs. So we had guys playing different positions, and they had played aside from Ali as well tonight. And I really was proud of them the way they just kind of figured it out. You're right. I think they were pretty resilient. They've shown they've had courage from – really, I knew when we came back against West Virginia, showed the fight that we did when we were getting beat pretty good. I saw that look in their eyes, and I thought, man, we've got something when it comes to courage, fight, resiliency that we can really build on. You know, right now what we're lacking is an execution. It needs to get better. Uh, we need to get it back to where we were in the middle of December, and then I think we even have the possibility if we'll have the right mindset – attitude and we're willing to learn and grow I think we can even be potentially better than that down the stretch if we're fortunate with our health was it a plan to play Brian 32 minutes no count that's 80 80 percent of the game no <laughs> I, I I'll be honest with you, I did not think he would look from a cardio perspective as good as he looked now defensively I was on him in the first half he wasn't great defensively he was better in the second half defensively. But offensively, he was great in both halves. Uh, you know what's interesting? Usually when we talk about a big offensive game for Brian Trimble, I think, George, we're all th thinking that he's probably made a bunch of threes. Yeah, one out of seven, but was seven for eight on twos. So he, he really scored the ball efficiently in the two-point area tonight. Uh, thought he read screens well. Thought he made good decisions and was really aggressive. And uh, I thought from a cardio perspective, considering what he had been through, that he looked good enough to keep playing. He wanted to play and um, gave us some really valuable minutes. Did he give the team a lift, do you think? Yeah, offensively for sure. I mean, at one point we were struggling to score inside, um, you know, trying to run about every play for him at one point. You know, obviously Castaneda was – <clears throat> Nothing short of spectacular with his shot making. Six to zero, assist to turn. And then defensively, he was really good both halves. I thought he was, uh, you don't have to watch the film, but certainly looking at the numbers and my feel for watching the game subjectively, you know, I, I, I thought he had the best performance of any of our guys tonight. He was just spectacular. He had a couple of 18 point games earlier in the season. Is he finally just, I know he's a transfer. Um, is he just finally getting more acclimated, more comfortable? I think so. Yeah, I think so. You know, now obviously playing with different lineups and different teammates throughout the last month probably has not assisted that. But but he's he's getting more acclimated to the system, to his teammates, to the coaching staff. Because you're right, it's his first year, you know. Um, I thought he was really, really good tonight. He's smart. George, which gives him a chance to keep getting better, which he has, and he is ridiculously tough. You know, so when you're smart and tough and skilled, you got a chance to be pretty good. And obviously tonight was his uh, best performance, and we needed every ounce of it to win the game.